Welcome back to Portage County by our very nature on Discover Wisconsin. The lure of Portage County is most easily seen in its vast natural open spaces, creating a place for healthy lifestyles and activities. One of which I've done all over the state. Mike, what kind of fishing do you have in Portage County? We've got everything from bluegills and crappies to smallmouth, largemouth bass, uh, pike, muskie. Just about any day of the week, you can find something that's biting. Now, when I think of Portage County, I normally would never think of muskie fishing. Does that surprise people? The Wisconsin River is actually one of uh, the best muskie fishing areas around. As a matter of fact, just a couple years ago, they caught the world record line class muskie on a fly rod out here. In Portage In County. In Portage County. See, you learn something new every time. <laughs> Stay on the water and spend the day paddling. Put in at any one of Portage County's many landings. You have the option of traveling the area's seven major rivers and 136 lakes. Whether on your own or with a guide, local outfitters are available to set you up and get you out. Once you've tested your arms, test your legs on the area's many hiking and biking trails, like the 30 mile long Tomorrow River State Trail. It's an old railroad right of way that was abandoned by the railroad and it's been converted into a recreation trail. Uh, there is an off-grade horse trail uh, where people can ride their horses either up on the bluffs, down in the valleys, that type of thing. And then the limestone's used as a snowmobile trail in the wintertime. Why should people for sure check out the Tomorrow River State Trail? Well, it's one of the few state trails that are really right in this part of the state. You can just go for a couple hours, that type of thing, too. Another trail that's easily broken into segments for hikers of any caliber is the historic Ice Age Trail. First of all, it marks uh, the boundary of, of the uh, glaciation, and uh, the last stage of glaciation was, uh, is named by geologists worldwide the Wisconsin Stage. Many of the best examples of the glacial features are here in the state, and also wonderful uh, recreational opportunity as well as educational. It's just an ideal uh, family weekend activity. You can also choose to spend your Portage County days in the great outdoors by visiting the world-class parks, like the George W. Meade Wildlife Area, the third largest wildlife area in Wisconsin. It contains nearly 30,000 acres of wetlands, forests, and grasslands, with over 267 species of birds known to inhabit or migrate through the park each year. Throw in 35 miles of hiking and biking trails, and you have an ideal way to spend a day. An additional Portage County attribute is the 275 acres of natural area that make up the Schmeekly Reserve in the city of Stevens Point. How unique is it to have this great nature preserve when the city is just a block away? Well, it's pretty unusual, and everybody values it here in Stevens Point. In fact, uh, the Green Circle Trail adds to it, the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame adds to it, so it's kind of a critical mass. When you start to gather all these things together, it makes quite a, quite a difference in uh, the way a community approaches the environment. The Schmeekly Reserve makes up two-thirds of the UW-Stevens Point campus and is an interface between the university and the central Wisconsin community. It's free and open to the public and contains more than five miles of trails. There's really something here for almost everybody. Uh, for some people it's exercise, for some people it's uh, maybe just spiritual recreation, getting away from the sounds of uh, the city itself. Uh, for others it's, it's social reasons. Uh, it's coming here with the family, uh, letting the kids grow up, walking the trails, or coming to programs that we might have here that are done by university classes and so forth. And when the weather turns cold and the snow falls, the Stevens Point area presents winter activities for everyone to share. If downhill skiing is your thing, then Standing Rocks Park, just outside of the city of Stevens Point, is the place to be. Tow ropes will pull you to the top of the mountain's five ski hills so you can challenge your need for speed on the journey down. Or push your endurance level on the 10 miles of groomed cross-country ski trails open daily throughout the snow season. Then head back into town and race your friends down one of the six sledding hills at Iverson Park one of which is specifically designed for kids six years of age and younger. At the top of the hills is an ice skating rink perfect for anyone who just wants to skate the day away. Experience winter in Portage County. 
and let us give you the tools to get there on discoverwisconsin.com. Coming up, just some of the diversions that keep people teeing off in Portage County. Stay right there.